In the previous video, uh, my teacher had gone ahead and created an assignment. I'm going to go ahead and I've logged in as a student, in this case, uh, David Boxer. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. You'll notice that once I refresh the page that the assignment notifications got updated, meaning that as a student, I have six assignment notifications that have come through since the last time I've logged into my Canvas space. And here on the right hand side, I can see all those assignments as well. And you may remember uh, from the previous uh, uh, assignment um, that I had uh, received a uh, assignment uh, when I click under show more uh, that at 12 or 1 p.m. my teacher had created an assignment called reflect the power of assignments. I'm going to go ahead as a student and again I could access this a number of different ways. I could access this through the calendar. I could have access this through my course but I'm just going to use my dashboard and click on the assignment. And this is again from the student point of view. So you'll see over here um, that my teacher is allowing me to go ahead and submit the assignment. I can see that it would have uh, some instructions if it was. Uh, right now this shows that this is zero points because this is just a complete or incomplete. Um, and then uh, what kinds of ways I could submit the assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, submit the assignment. And you'll notice down here, once I do, that I can upload a file. I can directly type in my response into uh, that text entry. I can go ahead and paste a website URL and as well as uh, uh, provide some comments about uh, the context of that third-party service. And then the real power, of course, is I can link this to my uh, Google Docs account. Um, and so, for example, once I click on the Google Docs account, uh, I will be able to uh, navigate through the uh, Google Docs uh, course folder system. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, I'm going to select the uh, uh, first document there. I can go ahead and I can record and upload media, um, meaning that I can record an audio response or a video response. And because I've linked my Dropbox, uh, which uh, some students may be using or you might be using, um, I can link it there as well. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, click the upload uh, the uh, design course list. And I'm going to go ahead and click submit assignment. And what will happen then is uh, my teacher will uh, it will show that I have uh, it will show what time I've turned in that assignment so at 12:05 p.m. Um, if my teacher has allowed me to resubmit the assignment, I could go ahead and do so uh, now. And then eventually um, on my course dashboard, uh, as my teacher grades this assignment, um, I will see uh, that the teacher has acknowledged receiving the assignment. So the ability in Canvas to collect all of your course materials um, is fairly powerful. Uh, anything that's digital or electronic and have it in all in one space, both for students, but of course for you as a teacher as well. In a later module, we'll discuss how assignments and your Canvas gradebook are inextricably linked together.